Well, 150 years ago, the first college football game happened at Rutgers University. A year-long celebration culminating earlier this week at the site where it all began. Eyewitness News reporter from New Jersey, reporter Anthony Johnson, has the story from New Brunswick. This is the place where it all started, here on the College Avenue campus of Rutgers University. On November 6, 1869, a group of young men squared off on a field, which is now a parking lot for the first ever game of college football. It featured Princeton taking on the Queens men of Rutgers. On behalf of Philip D. Murphy, governor of New Jersey, do hereby recognize Rutgers as the birthplace of college football. The game has changed since its early inception 150 years ago. But the tradition gave colleges and universities the chance to build a following. The Bunch and the Grunts and the Bunch. Get it! The early brand of football resembled soccer, rugby, and wrestling. But some things never changed. I'm heard that there was rowdy, uh, so the crowds were already screaming at each other across the field. Like I said, never changed. They were already tailgating. Right, we know they were on sidelines with baskets of food and probably some other stronger beverages. Rutgers won by a score of 6-4. to four. 150 years ago, there were 25 players per side. Some only allowed to touch the ball when it's in their box on the field. But what started so on that, a fall day at Rutgers gonna... would grow into one of the nation's favorite pastimes. College football is a huge both sporting event and a huge community event in all these college campuses across America. And it all started right here. 